Understanding the phrase, have a beef, a guide for English learners. Hello, everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today, we're diving into a fascinating English expression, have a beef. This phrase might sound a bit odd at first, especially for those of you learning English as a second language. But don't worry, by the end of this video, you'll not only understand what it means but also how to use it in your conversations. So, let's get started. The phrase, have a beef, is an idiomatic expression in English. It means to have a complaint or a problem with someone or something. It's often used when someone is upset or disagrees with another person. Think of it as having a bone to pick or a grievance. It's important to note that this phrase is informal and is typically used in spoken English or casual writing. Understanding the origin of idioms can often help in remembering them. The phrase, have a beef, is believed to have originated in the United States around the early 20th century. It's thought to come from the old practice of complaining or beefing in a loud voice. Over time, the term evolved to mean having a complaint in general, not just vocally expressing it. Let's look at some examples to see how this phrase is used in context. 1. I have a beef with my neighbor because he plays loud music late at night. 2. Sarah has a beef with the new policy at work. She feels it's unfair. 3. Do you have a beef with me? You've seemed upset since our last meeting. In these sentences, have a beef is used to express a problem or disagreement someone has with another person or a situation. Remember, because have a beef is an informal phrase, it's best used in casual conversations or informal writing. It's not suitable for formal contexts like business meetings or academic papers. Also, be mindful of the tone it sets, it can sometimes imply a strong or personal disagreement. And that's a wrap on the phrase, have a beef. We hope this video has shed some light on this unique expression and that you feel more confident using it in your English conversations. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more English language tips. Happy learning, and see you in the next video.